Hi, my name is Ashley Piontek, and I'm a senior manager in Canada. This is my son, Logan. Logan had somewhat of a difficult birth. He came out with no heart rate and not breathing. They were able to bring him back to life. He was then placed in a medically induced coma in a hypothermic state to help control the swelling in his brain and his vital organs. After remarkable gains, within 72 hours, they woke Logan up where he spent the next two weeks in the NICU. We were then able to take our precious bundle of joy home with us. He remained on anti-seizure medication for the next four months. Logan was followed very closely by the Special Infants Clinic at Hotel Dew Hospital at the Child Development Center. Between Logan's pediatric team, my husband and I, it was noticed that Logan was not developing at the same rate as his atypical peers. He was then diagnosed at 18 months with a global delay in cerebral palsy. At 24 months, he was diagnosed as, as, <laughs> as severe autism. At age four and a half, Logan started a two year journey with a treatment team and it was one-on-one -on -one intensive behavioral intervention with the Malpe Center in Kingston, Ontario. During his treatment, during his treatment as Logan is completely nonverbal, he started using an iPad with a program called ProLocal to Go as his communication device. Logan is six and a half years old, nonverbal autistic child that completely amazes us every day. He is able to communicate with us on his iPad and show us and his brothers, Liam and Lloyd, more love than you can imagine. Some of the da daily struggles that we face in our lives with Logan, he's not toilet trained. It's hard. He does have some sensory overload and behavioral issues. This is just some of the highlights of his first six and a half years of our lifelong journey with Logan. I'm proud to light it up blue for Logan. Logan, can you use your words? Hit this, hit. Hello, my name is Logan and I have autism. Light it up blue for me. Thank you.